subatomic particles have many properties but for today we'll discuss two of them mass and charge proton has a relative mass of 1 and it has a relative charge positive 1 or plus 1 neutrons have a relative mass of 1 and a relative charge 0 electrons have negligible mass compared to proton and neutron hence the mass is considered to be 0 while its relative charge is minus 1 atomic number and atomic mass number out of the three particles in the nucleus the number of protons decide the chemical properties of the atom hence the number of protons are known as atomic number it is denoted by the letter c if you manage to change the proton numbers in the nucleus you will change the atom itself on the other hand number of protons plus the number of neutrons together give you the atomic mass number the physical properties of the atom are dependent on the atomic mass number it is denoted by the letter a while writing atomic mass number is written on the top of the element while atomic number is written at the bottom of the element isotopes are atoms which have similar atomic number a different atomic mass number hence their chemical properties are same but they have different physical properties a few isotopes might be unstable and in order to achieve a stable state they give out radiation There are three different nuclear radiations: alpha particles. They have two protons and two neutrons. Basically, they are helium nuclei. Beta particles. They are high energy electrons. Gamma rays. They are high frequency electromagnetic radiation. this nuclear radiations are very difficult to observe as they only take place when there's a nuclear reaction happening when a particle is very heavy it would want to lose as much mass as possible and attain the closest stable state when an element gives out an alpha particle its atomic mass number reduces by 4 while its atomic number reduces by 2 and it ends up becoming a different element altogether during this equation you will notice the lhs is always equal to the rhs for beta decay if an element gives out a beta particle its atomic mass number remains unchanged while its atomic number increases by 1 and the element becomes a completely new element altogether when 
uh, element undergoes gamma decay neither its atomic number nor its atomic mass number is affected gamma radiation only sheds off some excess of energy which the element has properties of nuclear radiation when an alpha particle is passed through a thin mica sheet it may be able to penetrate through but anything thicker can stop an alpha particle hence an alpha particle can be stopped by a skin or even by paper or for the matter of fact a few centimeters of air can also stop alpha particle on the other hand beta particle can penetrate through thin mica sheets in paper but it will be stopped by thin metal like aluminum if we talk about gamma rays they can penetrate through almost anything although you can use thick lead sheets to reduce gamma radiation what would be the effect on this radiations if you apply an electric field gamma rays as they don't have any charge would be undeflected beta rays beta particles will have strong deflection as they have a negative charge and small mass on the other hand alpha radiations have two positive charge but four atomic mass number hence the deflection is comparatively less let us summarize all the properties of this radiation alpha particle has the least penetrating power beta particle has medium penetrating power gamma has the most penetrating power alpha has least range beta has medium range gamma has the most range this radiations are ionizing that is they can ionize the matter they pass through hence they can also lead to cancer as they ionize the cells in living organisms alpha is the most ionizing as it has two positive charges and it can easily pull out electrons from atoms beta has medium ionizing power while gamma has the least ionizing power alpha is affected by electric and magnetic field beta is affected by electric and magnetic field gamma is not affected by either of them